Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Chris. I'm a videographer, photographer, and YouTuber. I make all sorts of videos from product reviews to demos to how to's to just me sat here talking to you guys about my experiences. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install the virtual cam plugin on a Mac. If you've seen some of my other videos where I show you how you can use a GoPro or a Sony mirrorless camera as a webcam and you want to apply that to a Mac and then send that feed to either Google Hangouts or Zoom or Skype, then this is the video for you. I promised a couple of you that I was going to try and find a solution for Mac users when I got a Mac. I finally have got my hands on a MacBook Pro and I found a solution which I think works quite nicely. I found this method on GitHub and it may look a little bit daunting, it may look a bit scary because you do have to work in the terminal application a little bit, but I'm going to guide you through step by step. It's not scary, it's not daunting, I promise you, um, and I'm no expert in terminal. I haven't used terminal for a very long time and I've not even used a Mac for about five years. So I'm not going to explain every step that I'm telling you to do, I'm just going to show you how to get it working in the most simple way that I can. Let me explain what we need to do. If you haven't already, please install OBS Studio. There's a Mac version and I will put the link in the video description below. Then we're gonna modify OBS using Terminal with the code that I found on GitHub. And then using a short line of code, we'll be able to open up OBS Studio and use it with Virtual Cam. So the first thing you need to do after you've downloaded and installed OBS Studio is open up Terminal. If you don't know how to do this, just do command space and type Terminal and press Enter. This is how we're going to modify OBS to include virtual cam using the script on the GitHub website. And I will put a link to that in the video description as well. The next thing we're going to need to do is install something called Homebrew from Mac OS. The web address for that is brew.sh. Again, that will be in the video description. Homebrew is essentially an application which allows you to modify other applications within Terminal. So once you've got to the Homebrew website, just take this line of code copy it, paste it within terminal and press enter, then press enter to continue and it's going to ask you to enter your administrator password. You will need to do this a couple of times through this process. This will take about five minutes to do but just leave it there as long as you can see that it's doing something then it is working. As soon as you see the name of your Mac on the line of text within Terminal, you know that the process is finished. And if you didn't get any warnings, then the process is complete. The next thing you need to do is head over to this website, how to use a virtual camera for Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet in OBS for Mac. Thank you to Jun Kudo. Uh, this article helped me massively in figuring out how to do this, although there are a few little steps that he's missed, um, which maybe is common sense for some people, but for me, I would have liked the instruction. That's why I'm here giving it to you. If you scroll down on the website, you'll find the instructions on how to install it. And the lines with hashtags are actually the objective. That's what we're doing with the lines of code underneath it. I didn't realize this at first. I was copying the lines with the hashtags as well. And obviously it wasn't working. So before we start doing anything with that code, we need to navigate to our documents folder within Terminal. To go back to Terminal and type CD space documents and then press enter. And this will take us into the documents folder where we can then modify our OBS application. Before we go any further, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. And if this video does help you out, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Right, so the next step is going back to the website and copying each line of code from the website into Terminal. Make sure you don't copy any of the lines that have got a hash at the beginning of them and wait until you see your computer name in Terminal before you do the next step. It will ask you to enter your administrator password a couple of times through this process and from start to finish I'd say the process took about 8 minutes. Cue time lapse.
If you followed all of those steps correctly, you should see OBS or what looks like OBS. Um, so basically this is a modified version of OBS that we have just created within Terminal. And if you go up to the tool section, you'll see start virtual camera. That wasn't there before. So if you've got an external camera, like I said at the beginning, like a Sony camera, a Canon camera, a Nikon camera, a GoPro hooked up to this, then you can send that high quality feed through to one of those applications. For the time being, I'm just gonna use the webcam on my Mac so I can show you how it works. And now you can see me in glorious 720p. How nice does that look? So as you can see, I've left a black box around this camera feed and that's to illustrate how this works. So if we open up Zoom, we'll do a new meeting. You can see I'm automatically there. This is the feed straight out of OBS. So if I move that box around within OBS, it moves around in Zoom as well. This is a great solution if you wanted to share something that's displaying on your Mac with one of the applications that I mentioned earlier. There were problems with this not working with Zoom recently due to one of the updates, but I've tried it this evening and it seems to work no problem. I'm just gonna try Google Hangouts quickly. Okay, so at the moment it's coming directly from my webcam. If I change this to OBS Virtual Camera, it's now coming from the virtual camera. As you can see, it's got the black box around it. So that means we know it's working. If we want to display anything else on here, that wouldn't be a problem either. And this is Skype. So if you scroll down to audio and video, in the top right, you have FaceTime HD camera. If we click that, you can then change that to OBS virtual camera. And now whatever we would have in OBS is now being streamed to Skype. This has worked with every program that I've tried it with so far. So I think it's a pretty good solution. The only slight caveat to this method is that you do have to run OBS through Terminal each time you want to run it. And if you just open normal OBS up, then that virtual cam option won't be there. And to add further injury, the last two lines of code, which would be the ones you want to launch OBS, only work the first time you input them. After that, you do have to type something different. And to make it as simple as possible, I've written this tiny little script here. I will put it in the link in the description. And you can see that I haven't got OBS opened at the moment. As soon as I put that into Terminal, it opens straight back up. Right, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments section below. Uh, I hope this helps you out. I know that a lot of people have been asking me for this, so this is how you do it. It may look a bit intense and a bit stressful, but I promise you it's just step by step. Copy one line at a time and you'll have no problems at all. If you like this video and you appreciate the amount of time and effort money I've put into making it for you, please like the video. And if you wanna help support the channel, then please consider pledging to me on Patreon. You can pledge for as little as $5 a month and it'll help me buy better lighting, better sound, better cameras, and better kit for me to review for you guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon.